Hello and welcome to Doral's Point. In this video, we are going to understand the take function in Excel. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, I will show you how to use take function to extract rows, columns and more from your data with ease. Also, you can download this practice sheet from the link in the description below. Now open your Excel sheet and let's get started. So here I have the sample data of ID, name, department, salary, joining date and performance rating. Now let's say I want to retrieve the first three rows. So I only want a first three rows here. So to get those first three rows, we'll use the take function. So this is the basic and simple usage that we can start with the take function. So here I'm going to write the formula equals take parenthesis and then it asks for the array. In this case, array is the data so i'll select all of these cells and then a comma and then it asks for rows so we want the first three rows so i'll simply write three and close the parenthesis once i hit enter as you can see we have the first three rows so this is how we use the take function now let's say instead of the first three rows i want the last three rows to do that i can simply modify my formula and here we are we are i have written first three rows instead of that i am going to write a negative three which means last three rows if i hit enter as you can see we have the last three rows here now this was just a basic usage of the take function now let's take some more uh, usage of it so i'll click here on sheet 2 and in sheet 2 we have the exact same data but now what i want here is i want to retrieve some columns so for example let's say i want to retrieve first three rows we already did this how we did it i uh, i wrote equals take parenthesis and then we select our entire data and then comma then we want the number of rows let's say i want the first three rows and then i'll close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have first uh, three rows but uh, let's be more specific let's say for these three rows i don't want all of the columns i only want the id column name column department column and salary column so i only want a first four columns now in this case i can also use the take function so here i have written the number of rows and then i'll write a comma and then it asks for columns so i can say i only want a first of four columns which is up to a salary right so i'll hit enter and as you can see we have only first four columns this is id name uh, department and a salary so this is another use case of take a function now similarly let's take another example let's say that i want the last two columns of the last four rows so firstly we need last four rows i'm i'm going to modify my formula so here after selecting the data i will write a minus four and it will give me the last of four rows something like this but we don't want all of the columns here so uh, let us say i only want the salary joining date and performance rating column so i only want the last three columns for these four rows so i'll modify my formula and here after the minus four i'll write comma and for the columns i will say minus and then how many columns we want let's say i want salary joining date and performance so i'll write negative three which means i want the last three columns only if i hit enter as you can see we have the salary we have the joining date and we have the performance rating now don't worry these joining dates have to be basically formatted so if here i click on short date it will give me the date so this is how we use take function in excel now before ending the video let's take some more advanced use cases so here i'll click on sheet 3 and we have again the exact same data now here is the thing what i want is i want the first employees so basically i want a top three employees so we have the performance rating here and i want the first three employees with a performance rating of a all right so basically i'm looking for this person then this person and then this person not this one all right so i want the first three employees with a performance rating of a in that case we will use a function called called as filter so firstly i'll write filter and then parenthesis and then it asks for the array in our case it is the entire data 
and then a comma then it asks for include and for the include what we want is basically we are looking for the performance rating so here what i'll do is as you can see we have this column i'll select the entire performance rating column something like this and i will say if this column equals and then a all right so if this column equals a and then i'll close the parenthesis and hit enter and as you can see we have the four total employees with a performance rating of a but i want to be more specific now i only want a first three employees i don't want this fourth one so here again we are going to use the take function so here i'm going to wrap this full filter function inside take function i'll write here take and then open parenthesis and here i'll have a comma and i will write three which means first three rows only and then close the parenthesis and hit enter and we have the first three employees with a performance rating of a now let's take another last example let's say i want to find those employees that have the least salaries so basically i am looking for three employees that have the least salaries so if we look inside this table you may notice that the least salary here is george and after that the least salaried person here is alice and then the least salaried person after alice is uh, fiona all right so uh, we have george we have alice we have fiona so basically we want the uh, we we want to retrieve the bottom three salaries so we'll use again the take function here but to get this data first we'll use some other function so here i'll write that function i'll say sort and then parenthesis now inside we, we have to write array in our case it is going to be the entire data and then a, a comma and after that it asks for sort index so basically on which column we want to sort this data now as you can see we want to sort it on the basis of salary so here as you can see salary is fourth column see id is one name is two department is three and salary is fourth column so here in the formula i will write four and then a, a comma and then it asks for ascending and descending we want the ascending order so one and then i'll close the parenthesis and hit enter and as you can see it basically uh, it basically sorts the data in ascending order according to the salaries all right but what is our task our task is to have only the uh, three least salaried employees which are actually george alice and john so we only want these three rows so here we're going to use the take function so we'll wrap this sort function inside the take function i'll write take parenthesis and then here i'm going to write a comma and then i only want three so i'll close the parenthesis and hit enter and as you can see we have retrieved the bottom three salaried employees which are george and then alice and then john so this was another use case of take function in excel so that will be enough for this video i hope you found this video on the take function helpful don't forget to download the excel practice file from the link in the description and try it out yourself if you liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button for more excel tips and tricks